Good afternoon. Good morning, everyone. My name is Andrew Sadarly, and I'm product manager here at Entopology for geometry and simulation applications. And I'm excited to, to get a chance to talk to you today about some of the things we're doing in terms of uh, interoperability with other tools, allowing you to work within your existing workflows, but take advantage of the full power of Entop platform. And today we're going to talk about importing topology optimization results from external tools. So for those of you that have seen our NTOP labs before, you're probably very familiar with a lot of the capabilities that we have inside NTOP platform for automatically uh, bleeding back in geometry and reconstructing geometry after you do topology optimization. Uh, but what you not, may not be familiar with is actually our ability to import results from other tools. So just this past uh, December in our 2.24 release, we added the ability to import topology optimization optimization results from external tools. So that's right, this geometry that you're seeing here was not actually run inside of NTOP platform and we've actually imported it, in this case, from Optistruct. And so the way you're gonna go about this, if you wanna use your existing top op tool with Entopology for all of these great post-processing capabilities, well, we've got this nice little help article that walks through the steps, at least for Altair Optistruct, of how you're gonna set up your analysis in that tool to bring in the results into NTOP platform. So what you're gonna to need to do is create an output card, um, and then you're gonna specify two um, output options here. So you're gonna set the first keyword to SHRES, frequency all, and you're gonna set output two, keyword to OP2 and frequency all. Now, if you really just want the last result, you can actually change that frequency, you'll end up saving less data. In my case, if I take a look at this model I have here with about 11 iterations and a decent density on the, the mesh right here, it ended up being about 375 megabytes. So if you want to really pair that down, you could always go with a, a lower frequency there. Um, and the way we're going to bring this into NTOP platform is we're going to go into our beta tab. And if you're not aware, beta can be enabled by going to settings under general there's an option to show beta blocks and that will enable this beta tab for you. So under the beta tab, we have uh, analysis exchange. Here you're gonna see all the options to import external simulations results and now import external topology optimization results. So we're gonna use that import topology optimization block. And so you've already populated it here and all it's gonna take is the path to your file. In this case, right, it's gonna be my OP2 file. So this is a and a pretty standard Nastron file format for those of you familiar with it. Um, we actually allow you to import Nastron results, uh, whether if you're working with say static analysis, thermal analysis, modal buckling through the OP2 format as well. Uh, and so you're just gonna specify your path to that file and then you're gonna specify your unit system and it's gonna come in and it's gonna look exactly like uh, NTOP native topology optimization results. So here we can see if I wanna go through my my threshold, it's behaving just like it would for my native results. So there's a lot of reasons you may need to use a, a, another topology optimization tool, but you know there's no reason that you can't take advantage of NTOP platform for all of the reconstruction capabilities we have, all of the smoothing, all of the post-processing uh, that you can't do anywhere else. So in this case, my workflow really starts at the top where I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna import my my part file, in this case, it's the Alcoa bracket. You're probably all pretty familiar with this, familiar with uh, topology optimization. So I've imported this part. I've uh, segmented out just the, the one part that I'm interested here. And then the bracket itself, I turn it right into our implicit representation. And I'm going to use this in a number of Boolean operations, intersects, things like that further down in my path. Step two is I, I go ahead and I import those topology optimization results, right? In this case, you know, we have a, a little bit of sticking on the boundaries here. Again, uh, maybe that's preferred. I, I like more of the, uh, the approach we take in NTOP platform where you're allowed to have a bit more control over that stickiness on the boundaries through the, the boundary uh, penalty field. We're gonna go ahead and turn our topology optimization results uh, into uh, an implicit, right? And this is just taking that mesh directly and, and turning it into the implicit representation. And then we go through and we do our nice 
smoothing operation, end up with something that's a bit more organic, right? Not going to be prone to kind of stress concentrations like you would if you just had the direct facets from your mesh. Um, but then, of course, during smoothing, we lose some of our, our functional faces here, right? If we go back and we look at our original bracket, right, we've got some, some mounting faces or, or bolt head faces here that we're going to need to preserve um, when we bolt this part into our assembly. So we need to go back and we need to add in some of those regions. So this is why I've imported my CAD geometry. If I go back, um, I've actually decided to call out some of the faces here. I'm going to use, whether they're the bolt poles or they're uh, the other connection region here. Now, through a little bit of a implicit magic, uh, some thickening, some intersects, I end up with this nice uh, region here that's going to be my preserve that connection region. And then for my bolt holes, again, I've got these nice uh, preserved little regions that I, I want to go back and Boolean in, right? Doing this sort of Boolean in another tool is going to be really difficult and uh, time intensive, maybe failure prone, then top platform, not a problem. Uh, we can simply do one final Boolean operation. And we're going to Boolean in our, our top op result that's been smooth and confined to our design space. We're going to Boolean in our connections, the connection for this, this piece here, and then our bolt holes. Right? And so now let's just do a nice little a quick high res render. Um, we're going to see that actually uh this geometry is matching exactly to what we had previously um but we have those nice crisp functional faces that we need um for when we're uh going in and, and mounting this or uh applying simulation loads things like that so this workflow that I, i've shown here today um you're able to do this. Uh, we've documented for um, Altair Altistructs. It's going to work with other um, other topology optimization tools as well that support the OP2 format. If you have another format you're interested in, in us supporting, please let us know in the comments uh, for this video. And we can definitely take a look at expanding our capabilities. We are always love to hear from our customers in terms of what functionality uh, they need inside NTOP platform. So that's all for today. Really uh, just a, a quick and short uh, introduction to working with external topology optimization results. Hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.